Prime Minister, you telling me mm. that our neighbors in Suriname mm. knew that Roger Can was a drug dealer mm. to the extent to where they deported, they shipped him from Suriname to Trinidad, turned him over to the United States government, well, and that Guyana's intelligence, you, that Roger Can was mm. nowhere on the intelligence in Guyana as a drug I would dealer? I he's not nowhere. A lot of people who I, 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 I expect are on the list. Kaicho News is reporting that according to the U.S. Bureau of Prisons, the infamous Roger Shaheed Khan will be released from prison this time next week. His release date is listed as July 8, 2019. The local U.S. Embassy is said to be cooperating with the Guyanese authorities to allow for a seamless transition of Khan back home. Khan is serving time in a U.S. prison in Florida for crimes he committed or had committed in U.S. territories. He was sentenced to 40 years imprisonment on three separate charges. However, he has never been charged or tried in Guyana for any crimes. It was widely speculated that Khan had received some measure of protection under the PPC government. Khan is believed to have been intimately involved with the feared Phantom Squad, a group of mostly males that was known for a series of brutal killings during a period President David Granger now calls so the now Dark Days. In an interview with Channel 2 Headline News in February 2018, former Prime Minister Samuel Hines suggested that Khan's killing squad was a direct response to another group that was involved in robbing and killing PPP supporters and working to destabilize the PPP government. This period when mostly indo Guyanese, but also maybe some non indo Guyanese who were supporters of the PN, PPPC mm -hmm. were being, uh, being stolen, things being stolen, robbed from them and so on and so on. And the, the IAC and them, I think, have the list on 150 or more million dollars or something. Uh, during this period, when non, no, no, when the, the security forces were being remarkably unsuccessful to capture people, it prompted and it evoked a, a, a people who said, "Look, the Gadam government in it, and the security, sec, formal security forces don't seem to be, I don't want to be, uh, uh, capture these people, and they formed uh, uh, their own irregular force." Hines told me that the PPP suspected that Khan was a drug dealer, but that they did not have concrete information to support that. I would expect that he had other intelligence. So yes. he knew of Roger Khan and I the would, operation? I would say that he, he would have had word of him, yes. The former president said that while the PPPC government had their suspicions about Khan, they did not have enough evidence to arrest him. Why did he not rein in or sought to rein in Roger Khan? Um, that's a, a very good question, a specific question. I will have to, we'll have to revert back to, we'll have to re go through the period and see, and see whether there was uh, such opportunity or an occasion, whether things could be pinned on him, whether you could say that he had done this, he had done the other. Hines, who also served as a transitional president for Guyana, said in that interview that if the whole truth about Roger Khan was to be told, it is possible that both the PNC and the PPP would be found culpable. For Channel 2 Headline News, Wendell Jeffrey.